Hi there, and welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Araldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and healthier life, while giving you the inside scoop on all the latest fitness, health, and lifestyle trends. And of course, most importantly, having fun while doing it. So let's get right to it. Zumba, CrossFit, hot yoga, you've heard them all, but fitness fads all designed to help you get into shape. So what's the latest health craze now? We're here to share with us some of the fitness trends of 2015 and to tell us if they work is fitness instructor and personal trainer, Tracy Cleggett Brignoa. Welcome, Tracy. Hi, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Uh, uh, terrific, actually. Good. So we got a bunch of questions I want to ask you, so let's start off with the first question. Okay. How did you choose to get into the fitness sphere? Well, there's two things that I like to do that I think most people in the world like to do. I like to be thin and I like okay. to eat. That's correct. <laughs> so I started um, in the early 80s, Okay. late 70s doing um, like dancer size, jazzer size, those okay. kind of classes. And I would look at the instructors and think, hey, I want to do that. <laughs> so I um, did some studying and started, uh, put a little ad in my local newspaper, rented some space and okay. started there. Okay. Um, then I uh, was working full time at that time right. too and okay. just doing it part time. Mm -hmm. Then um, started a family and have my uh, twin girls, Jacqueline and Jenna. Twin girls. Yeah. How old are they? Um, they're 18. They're oh, seniors. wonderful. Yeah, seniors in high That's school. That's great. Um, so when I was um, raising them, uh -huh. I was teaching kickboxing for several years, and kickboxing. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, Good for 15 then. years. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I'm a boxer, so I like that. It's, okay, it's good. yeah, I love it. Um, so, but I saw people coming and going. Like uh -huh. it seemed like people would get injured and then right. stop. So it was sort of a natural progression for me to start um, to get personal training certification because I felt like I wanted to share with people how to avoid getting injured. Right. If you are injured, it doesn't mean that you, you don't work out anymore at all. There's other Correct. things that you can do. Um, so that's pretty so, much how so, I so, got into it. So what are the fitness trends then? That we I would say the, the biggest thing right now is uh, body weight training. Body weight it, training. Seems, it seems that people yeah. want to be able to train wherever they are, mm -hmm. and not just to have to be at a gym. And I Absolutely. noticed um, even at the gyms, there's more area that is less cluttered. Okay. So there's more space for, for trainers. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. One one piece of equipment I use is called the TRX system. Yeah. I love that. I mean, that is very easy to carry. You can bring it anywhere with you. Mm -hmm. I can do it in a hotel room. We can do it in the park. Right. And it's very effective because it does use your body weight. Yeah. And you can get a really nice workout with that. So I'm sure that's very popular. It's coming up. Yeah. And even if, even without that, just the the old standard of push ups, sit ups, that's squats. That's right. Which I love. I still yeah. love to do that. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what kind of what kind of client expect when they hire you? For your services? Um, well, first of all, I do, like I said before, I want to focus on body awareness. I think okay. that's really important if you want longevity mm -hmm. in fitness, in your right. own fitness, um, you have to be aware. Mm -hmm. So I know for myself, if I feel any kind of, of pain, not discomfort so much because you're right. into discomfort, but if I have pain, I will, you know, change. I'll do something a little bit different. Something I'll different. avoid that area. Yeah. So, so I like to, to help my clients with that sort of thing so that they can progress. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so I hear that you used to be a former Eagle cheerleader. Yes, I was. So tell me a little bit about that, because that, that's awesome. That's really uh, good. So tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, it was, um, again, that was a million years ago. <laughs> a million, million years, years ago, yeah. before the dinosaurs, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I um, just went to, uh, went to try out one, one day. I didn't really expect to, to make it, but right. I just kind of kept making cut after cut. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just did that for, for one year. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience. Right? Yes, it was. It was exciting. All right. So mm -hmm. let me, tell me about a, a favorite client story that you have. You got to have uh, some. Okay. Yes. Let me think. Here, let me ahead. think about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so think about um, it. I would say there is one um, one client in particular who is just a beautiful woman, very mm -hmm. unassuming person. Okay. And she um, she came to me, had never really worked out. She okay. was a caterer and wanted to change her her life. She was going okay. to um, become a realtor, and finding that she had to be dressed nice every day. Okay. She's a size 16. Okay. Um, had some asthma, a little bit of arthritis, mm -hmm. and um, started working with me. Like, and within six months, she was down to a size ten. Wow! Um, she can run six miles pretty easily. She boxes mm -hmm. three days a week, wow. and I just and she gives me too much credit. The thing is, a per the client themselves have to be motivated, and they have to do it. And she has done the work. Absolutely. And it's really a part of her life. And yeah, so, it's so very me, rewarding. So, give me your philosophy on fitness. Then. Um, I would say what one man can do, another can do. Have you ever seen the movie The Edge with Anthony Hopkins? 
it, it was not a real popular movie, but there was okay. that one line that struck me, what one man can do, another can do. And right. of course, realistically, that's not true in every situation. Right. But I think um, if, if you see that one person is fit and healthy, mm -hmm. right. if he can do it, she can do it. If I can do it, right. you can do it. And it's also very important to have a mental aspect of it, right? You yes. Because, you know, it's, you know it, it's tough already is enough to start an exercise program, but I think in order to maintain it, which is consistency, right. you need to make that mental adjustment for it. And that's when I see positive results with my clients as well. Yeah. But, uh, no, that's awesome. That's yeah, really I think nice. if people get into it maybe for a particular event, they want to lose weight for a wedding or something like that, okay. you know, they're not really going to succeed. But if they just make it part of their daily life, okay. then they're going to enjoy it. Awesome. Now, mm -hmm. do you have a website where people can uh, get more information from you? Or? Yes, it's, right. um, well, Facebook is the easiest Facebook way. is easy, yeah. probably. Yeah, right. Facebook, it's um, Tracy Cliggett Fitness. All right. Tracy Brignola Fitness. Fitness, okay. <laughs> Maiden name. Well, Tracy, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank I really you so appreciate much for it. Having and good luck me. to you, okay? Thank you so much. All right, still to come. She has helped transform some of the hardest and sexiest bodies in Hollywood. When Healthy Lifestyle with Heraldo returns, celebrity fitness trainer Jackie Warner joins us. Stay tuned. Oh,